Hi, this is our fourth video in the section about travelling and network. We've had a look at a walk without any restrictions on our route. Uh, we've had a look at a trail which had the restriction of not repeating an edge. We've had a look at a path where we're not repeating a, um, a vertex. And this one is to do with a circuit. Let's have a look at the conditions that create a circuit. A circuit is a walk with no repeated edges that also starts and ends at the same vertex. So there are our conditions to create a circuit or define a circuit. Let's have a look at our example. If we go from F to E to D to C back to B down to E down to A and finishing off at F, which was our starting point as well. Notice we have uh, F as our starting point and F as our finishing point. That's one of the conditions. Starts and ends at the same vertex. In this case it's the vertex F. And we haven't repeated any edges. We haven't doubled up on any of the edges. Now sh those of you who are sharp might notice that we have repeated, whoops, <laughs> repeated E we have visited E, the vertex E, twice, but that's not a problem for a circuit. We just have ticked off all the definitions here. We haven't repeated any edges, and we've started and end, ended at the same vertex, that vertex at F. So we've uh, fulfilled uh, in our diagram here all the conditions for a circuit. hope that makes sense. I'll see you for the next exciting episode. After I tell you that, a circuit can also be called a closed trail nice and confusing, a closed trail because I guess it uh, starts and ends at the same vertex therefore kind of closing the, um, the route that it takes. See you next time.